gives this cougar away today. <laughs> this ginger. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. We want to thank you for Mouse and Stephanie for coming today to celebrate this day. The chairs you see up front is empty. It's for grandparents, moms and dads that couldn't be here today. Go ahead and sit down, please. I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to be rough. <laughs> First off, Stephanie. From me and her mother, I'd like to thank you for being a good woman to my boy. He's been through a couple, <laughs> I'll let you know that. And uh, he finally found a good one, we think. That's still, uh, that's still in the books, all right? But we want to let you know, today, you are a Tilly. You're a welcome to this family. We will cherish you. We will love you. And do everything in our power to make you one of us. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to get started here. I hope you two know that love isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy tale that you watch on Hallmark TV. It's not written in storybooks. And it always doesn't come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. Love is a short word and it's easy to spell, but difficult to define. It's impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, Love is realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you do it together. The key to love is understanding the ability to comprehend not only the spoken word, but those unspoken gestures. You'll learn that, son. The little things that say so much by themselves. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept each other's faults and mistakes without forgetting, but with remembering what you learn from them. The key to love is sharing, basing your good fortunes as well as the bad together, both conquering problems forever, searching for ways to better for happiness. The key to love is without thought of return, but with the hope of just a simple smile and giving in, but never giving up. The key to love is respect, realizing that you are two different people with different ideas, that you don't belong to each other, you belong with each other and share a mutual bond that is the key to love. Ladies and gentlemen, it isn't time for them to share their own vows. Okay, mine are short and sweet, but to the point. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cry. Ash, today I'm going to make a promise. I promise to love you more than I did yesterday. I promise to never lose our spark and I promise that we will be a family forever. They say time flies when you're having fun, but if, sorry, but it has flown because of the man I've been able to know, love, and grow with. Today starts our forever together, and I'm so happy it's with you. Um, P.S. I love you more, and these little hands can do more than you think. <laughs> Stephanie, when I talked you into hanging out with me for the first time after me what after we met while you was drooling over me at my sister's wedding, <laughs> we both made our plans well known and both said we didn't want to get married. But look what love has done to us. 
We have grown and succeeded in making life together. From this for point forward, I promise to love you and stand by your side 24-7. I both know how indecisive I can be at times. I simply don't like to make decisions, not even about dinner. But if there is one decision that I know is the right one, it's to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. These rings are one solid loop, which cannot be broken or pulled apart, which makes them precious, but they are made more precious by you wearing them. For they will adorn your loving hands May they be a symbol of your internal love for one another. As you wear them, may they be a constant reminder to you of one another and of the, of the deep bond of faith, trust, and love which they represent. Do you, Stephanie Thack Thacker, take Ash Tilly to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Do you, Ash Tilly, take Stephanie Thacker to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. With the power invested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ash and Stephanie Tilly.